do you guys do its work? So if two lines we intersect by transversal, create our last one. These are not corresponding angles. So the last one, if you have two lines, they're being intersected, and they create corresponding angles that are equal in measure, that means congruent, then we have parallel lines. All right, so you guys notice this theme for all these? What they're saying is if we have two lines intersected by a transversal and we do not know the lines are parallel, then therefore we need to be able to determine do we have angles that are either alternate interior, alternate exterior, or corresponding that are equal in measure? Or do we have two angles that the sum of them is equal to a 180? Yeah, exactly. So we need to look at corresponding. Again, remember what corresponding angles look like? So we could say here's two corresponding angles. And since those two correspondings are equal in measure, then guess what? We know that line L and M are going to be parallel to one another. OK? All right. I did get ahead of myself. I forgot to ask you guys for questions off your homework. I will do two quick questions because I need to get you guys doing.